Hi all, Martin again at Flickin' Feathers and I'm tying a yellow headed booby damsel, a yellow eyed booby damsel. It's one of two that I think it's a good idea to carry. Um, it's a very effective fly year round on the still waters. Obviously it's not a competition size fly, um, but for a lot of people that doesn't matter. As always I'll stick a materials list in the description for you so you can check that later if you need to. And remember if you find the videos useful please do remember to get, hit the like button below. So I've got my hook in my vise, this is a size 8 Kamazan B175. Um, it's a nice size hook for this fly. People used to tie a lot of these on like um, the 2x long shank, size 10, but it's the same, but that actually gives you the same shank length as an 8, but less gape, so you're better just using the standard 8 for better hookups. And I've run on some Uni 8O and Olive. Now, the tail is just Olive Marabou, just like a standard medium Olive Marabou. Got a wee bunch, you don't need a huge amount, right? Like, don't make it too heavy. Um, if it's too thick, it moves less. And what I'm doing, I'm stroking the marabou up to the point where I can see that I've got like, all of the tips of the fibres, right? There's, they're all going to be even, and just break away all the uneven ones. Right, and that gives me like this sort of the best section of the tail. Tail length, it's up to you, you can make it really long. Um, you can make it a bit shorter. I think like, say like a hook and a half, something like that. Like a hook length and a half or like two shanks, however you want to measure it, is about right. Just got to catch that in. Right at the bend. Two or three turns is enough. And then we'll get some medium silver holographic for my rib. that in as well. Just on my side. And then come in and I'll trim my waist, leaving myself plenty of clear space at the front. And it's just a case of tidying all this up. And you don't need to be super fussy, just get up there, come back, and get everything tied in nice and secure. moves and you don't worry too much. And then for the body it's just a standard rayon chenille and olive. I've tried other materials um, and to be honest this, I keep coming back to this, um, it just seems to work better than like the Fritzies or other stuff. It's something about it, don't know what it is. So, just keep it out of the way, if I can. And then I'm just going to wind this forward, to create a nice, sort of, even body. Again, it's nothing fancy, it's just a plain olive chenille. I'll just tie it off when I get to the front. A few wraps, trim away. And you can see there I never trimmed that super close because see what you'll see is see when I, I don't know if you can actually see that, I think you can. As I wind forward, 
what happens is the thread pushes the fuzz off the core of the chenille um, so you don't need to worry about like, tying in the bulk just got to see how that wants to sit it's fine so I'm going to start my rib now for a wee bit of extra durability I get that first like, half turn and then I'm going to just take a very light sweeper super glue on the side of the tinsel that touches the chenille and come up even turns four will be or you go on it like four full turns on the body coming into the fifth is where I tie it off trim away the waist and then I need a partridge hackle dye jailer. Put it tight in by the tip, just as usual. So I cleared the fluff for what I don't need, and then expose that tip so I can tie it in. And I just tie that in. I don't bother folding it back because I've got quite a long tie in there. You know, six or seven wraps of thread probably holding it. You can just trim it away and you know it's secure. I'm just going to wind this hackle. Let's fight my wee bit there, just try to twist. Just fold it as I go. And I've just got to use all of it. You'll only get a couple of turns probably. And when it's used up, just come across with your thread, tie it off. And then trim away the waist. Now before I tie on the eyes, I'm just going to tidy all this up. If this is nice and level, the eyes will sit easier. Now, this in and of itself is probably quite a good fly. And basically, if you carry this with like yellow bead chain, yellow booby eyes, and you could maybe tie a wee skinny one to be a bit more imitative, you know. It's it's a good it's a good selection of flies to be carrying. Right, so I've got my booby eye. It's a six mil, we six mil tic tac, and uh, I've got a video of how I make the booby eyes. Um, you can how to get perfect booby eyes. I'll put a link to that up in the top corner of the screen somewhere. You can go and check that and if you find it enjoy enjoyable or useful please remember to hit the like button. Now I've just stuck this in a needle to make it easier to hold and show you but I'm just going to wrap the thread around the, the tic tac, try to get it right in the middle. If you're not in the middle you can always go back, start to tighten up, take another turn three around and then you get your wee dumbbell that looks pretty good so I'll just tie up and then I'm going to figure eight through it a couple of times just to get it locked in a couple of wraps in front and then I'll take another two figure eights through. Don't kill it with tension, right? You can cut you can cut the foam if you're not careful. And then just got to sort of use the tension of the thread winding at the front to sort of tighten those wraps down. And there you go, your nice wee booby eye. A little bit squint there, there we go nice and round, nicely shaped. It's just a case of whip finishing. One all day, 
because I'm going to put some super glue in here. Get the super glue. The brushable stuff is the best for this. I'm just going to open, just pull those eyes apart, get a wee bit of super glue in the middle, and then just push them back together. And that binds them with the thread, binds them together. Turn it over. And then I do the thread with varnish because the varnish can soak in and it will never whiten like the super glue might if you put a big blob on the thread. You can even, if you want, get in the front and just seal and protect the super glue as well. So there you go. That's a uh, yellow eyed booby damsel. It's an absolutely devastating pattern. Um, as I say, obviously it's no competition rules and for some reason if you tie this in a competition style with a wing it doesn't seem to work as well. Um, different olive booby for the wee ones. But I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye!